How's it? Welcome back to Basil's Garage. Um, so you remember last time we were here, we were uh, cutting keyways and shafts. And I said next time what we'll do is we'll talk about cutting keyways uh, into the actual parts that go onto the shafts, uh, the holders or the carriers, whatever you need. So if we look at this, I, um, I splashed out and bought a cheap, uh, it's only a six ton press. Uh, I think I got it from Repco. I think they're a couple of hundred bucks, something like that. Um, I was quite lucky I got a trade discount. But yeah, a couple of hundred bucks for that. You can get adapters for them. I haven't got the adapters yet. I've only just got it, put it together, because I thought, well, I'll, I'll put this video together so I can show you how it works. So realistically, all it is, is a bottle jack and a piece here that when you activate the bottle jack, it pushes down here and you can push in and out bits and pieces. So I've only just got it. haven't had much chance to ever play with it. Um, now, what I've done is because... I need to have things going right through. I've just got it sitting on the bench here. When I eventually get my garage all sorted, I'll actually mount this somewhere it can be permanently mounted. But at the moment, we're just um, still working on getting the garage all sorted. Okay, so the, what we're trying to achieve is, this is a, uh, a carrier. This is actually a, um, a gear carrier. And you can see that it's got a keyway cut in the size of it. Now, I'm not sure what size that keyway is. They do come in all different sizes. So I'll grab my very nears. Uh, we'll turn them on and we'll have a quick measure as to what that size is and that is basically pretty close to six mil so this is this is six mil here so it's six mil key steel and that should just slide pretty well in there which it does okay so the idea is that's what we're trying to achieve we're trying to cut a groove down through here so that we can also match it up with the groove in the shaft now the way we do this is we have these things called brooches now i've got three different size brooches here uh, I've bought these brooches separately. You can see one's got a broken tooth on it. These are actually all different sizes. Um, there's a 3 8 one, there's a 5 mil, and this is a 6 mil brooch. Uh, effectively, what they need is they need these guides. So the guides here are machined to fit the brooches. Now, you can buy the guides and the brooches in a set, or you can buy them individually, however you want to do it. Um, I was quite lucky I had access to a lathe, but if you haven't got access to a lathe, you can just buy these. And um, I've machined them out. So this one here is for a, um, we'll measure it up, and we'll go, this should be about pretty close to 19 mil. Uh, this one here, I think, is a 25 mil. That's a 30 mil one. And then this one here is... My 25 mil one. So if I was going to cut this groove in here, I'd get one of these guides. I'd put the guide down, sorry, the right size, put the guide down in here. And it should fit in there like that. And then you get one of these brooches. And I'm not sure if this is the right size brooch for those ones. No, it's, yeah, so that one there. So this is already machined out. Now if I wanted to use this brooch, I'd have to machine this out bigger or get the right brooch holder. So each brooch comes a different size and you may need a different holder for each one. So if I was going to do this, I'd put this in here and um, right one again. And we basically press it down with the press. And these little teeth here, they're actually tapered and they take a very small cut as you go through. So once you've made your first cut, then you get a little spacer like this and the spacer fits in behind it and then you take another cut and then you can put another spacer in and take another cut depending on how deep you want this to be so what we'll do today is i've got an old piece of uh piece of steel here and as you can see i've started cutting a keyway on this one here um so i'm going to show you basically how it works now you need to get the right adapter this one here is the right size so it's a 19 mil adapter and it fits my six mil brooch you can see the six mil brooch fits in there and slides down through it but if you have a look you can might be able to see that it's at the bottom it's only just cutting and then as you go it cuts more and more as you go through so it's tapered so what we do to start off with is um, we put this in here so I'll start on the opposite side so I'll show you what actually happens put this into here that should fit down should be quite a tight fit I like this to make sure it goes fully home now I'm going to get the brooch and I'm going to put the brooch in here and it should just fit down a little bit. So it's going to go down so far and then it's going to stop. Now what we need to do is put this into the press and then press it down. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit of, little bit of cutting oil just so it helps it a little bit. And put a little bit of cutting oil on it. Just helps it go through a little bit easier. Right, so we put that in there. Slide it in there until it just starts to touch. Let's grab the rag out of here. And then we bring it over to the... To the press now 
set it into the press like this and as you can see there's a gap here all I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the, the jack with this and I'm just going to use my finger to just push it down so it just starts to touch now the key with this is you don't want to force it if you force it you could bend it and snap the brooch they're very brittle so you have to take your time with it so what I tend to do is I just get it started now, once I've got the setup better, I'm going to make a better adapter here so it's got a plate so it holds it more square, but just to show you how to do it. And all you do is you just wind this down and keep going down. It's starting to cut a bit more now, so I now cannot move it with my hand as well. It's just starting to cut. So I'll run out of room very soon, so I'm just going to put the, uh, put the handle in and I'm just going to keep going down like this until I run out of movement. Okay, so that's as far as I've got. So now I loosen it off. This is going to come back up. And what I do is, just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to use a bolt. Now obviously, once I get a bit more organised, I'll make a nice flat um, piece to do this with. But just for the purpose of the demonstration, we're just going to do that. And we're just going to continue pushing it through. So all we're doing is just pushing it very slowly through. There's not a lot of load. If it binds up and you find it really hard to move, something's wrong and you need to back it off and let it go through again. So, um, just make sure that I've got this thing right. Because it's got to go right through, obviously. So we're just pushing this right through. And it's just starting to cut. If you look inside there, you can just see a few of the little, um, little bit of shaves of steel coming through. Um, so I'll just keep pushing this through. And once you get to the last bit, all of a sudden it'll go loose and the brooch will probably fall straight through as long as I've got enough travel in the, in the press. So that's all the travel I've got left. So I think what I'll do is I know that that's just about finished. So I'll just come over here and I'll give it a very slight tap with the hammer. And it just comes straight through. So effectively what we've done is, I'll take this out. Effectively what we've done is we've just taken the first cut on this side. So it's taken a little tiny wee cut where you can see it's starting to cut there. So now what we would do is we would grab our spacer. So you get yourself a little spacer. So we'll put this back in again. Uh, yep, that's the right one. We'll put it on to there. Now ordinarily you wouldn't take this out in between cuts. You would leave it in there all the time um, and then it wouldn't wouldn't move from where it was originally. Then you put the little spacer in behind the back of here, so it sits in there, and all it's doing is pushing it off a little bit, so that now when we push it through, it's slightly over. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. We'll put it down in here, just till it starts to cut again. And we're gonna take another cut with it. So what I'll do is I'll bring it back over here again, sit it back onto here. Now, I'll just loosen this off to there and then I'm going to push this back and do exactly the same thing as we did just before and it should go through all going well without too much drama like I say if it sticks too much or, or binds up too much then you're either taking too big a cut or there's something wrong and you really need to release it because if you don't if you don't release it you'll end up with uh, breaking your, your brooch. So I'm just going to grab that spacer again from over here, just the bolt. Same deal again, we're just going to come down and press it back on here. And just continue to just push this through. That's still going through fairly easily. And there we go, it's gone right through. So now, you can actually see that we've cut a bigger slot. So this actually slides in here now, perfectly fits in there. Now, if I want to go deeper, all I would do is I'd get my next spacer 
and I'd put that in behind there as well. Now you can make these spaces out of bits of steel or aluminium or whatever for whatever thickness you want. I could basically now put that one in there and I could run the brooch through again and we'd end up with another cut. So you can see that'll go in so far and then it will start cutting. So I could do that all again. I'm not going to worry that. The operation is exactly the same. When you finish, you'll end up with your keyway cut inside there. So it'll end up looking like that and you just keep doing it till you get the right depth. So effectively what it means now is that with what I've shown you, you're able to cut your own keys into the shafts. So you can basically cut a keyway like that into the shaft and then that will fit into there and you can now cut a keyway into there. So effectively what it now means that you can do is end up with something that looks like that. Obviously that's a lot deeper and then your keyway fits in between. It's a different size keyway fits in between and then it locks it to the shaft okay so um yeah that's that's how easy it is to do at home um you don't need huge amounts of special tools you can buy that stuff from aliexpress um you probably can buy it in new zealand as well might be a bit more expensive but you can get just the size you want um buy yourself a cheap press um i'm going to have a play with this i have a feeling that i can probably almost use it as a press break as well uh end up doing right angle bends and things like that so i'll play with that and maybe come back to that later on but for the moment um that's Business Garage for today.